Today we're going to take a look at Generation 1 Punch Counter Punch. Now this guy's first appearance was Episode 1 of Season 4 of the American Release version, also known as the Rebirth, where he made a very brief appearance, maybe about 20 seconds, uh, which was kind of the thing for Episode 4, because it was supposed, or uh, Season 4, it was supposed to be a lot longer, but they had to condense it down into three episodes, to where they wanted to introduce all these new characters, and to get them all into those three episodes, they pretty much spent all of Episode 1 just saying, Everyone had 20 seconds to say your name, shoot your gun, or get shot, and uh, hopefully your figure sold. Because that was the whole thing in that season. Even though it was it was alright, but I actually prefer the uh, Japanese Headmasters. But Punch Counter Punch ran into Pounce and Wingspan, which are the Decepticon clones. I've already done the review. And one of them shot, it, uh, shot them, I think it was Wingspan, shot them, and then Pounce transformed and jumped on them, and they stole the key to Vector Sigma. So that was not Punch Counter Punch's or you know, finest hour, uh, but he is a pretty cool Transformer. And in the Japanese Headmasters uh, season, uh, he actually has quite an active role, and uh, he's in several different episodes. So I like the way that he plays in that, and the toy for the most part is quite fun. Uh, if you didn't know, I keep on naming him two different names. That's because he is a counter spy or double spy agent. Uh, he's an Autobot that turns into Decepticon, which fools Galvatron many many times. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch in the Japanese cartoon, so I highly suggest watching it. You will have to read subtitles unless you just know Japanese. Uh, then I guess you don't have to buy you know, the subtitle version. But this vehicle, uh, to get a little look at it, a little 360, this is actually a Pontiac Fiero GT. If you don't know what those, those are, and maybe you're a little bit younger, uh, didn't grow up in the 80s, this was a car that looked really cool but was very cheap because they broke down all the time. Uh, one of my buddies when I was in high school, his very first car, he bought one of these and he got it for like, I don't know, like $600 or something like that. And it looked good. The problem is, first time we went for a ride in it, we ended up broke down on the highway, which was pretty much the case with these vehicles. And uh, I never went riding in them with that car again because I just took my own vehicle. Uh, but let's go ahead and do one size comparison. We'll take a look at G2 Sideswipe. So uh, this is really the only other vehicle or transformer that I have in car mode but he's actually quite long as you can see so let's go ahead and get this guy transformed first thing you're going to do is grab this back part here and pull that back and these legs they'll just kind of accordion back like this and they will slide and come down like that so i really like that feature instead of you know they just folding up and pulling out like that so really cool feature i like that then what you're going to do is pull these legs apart like why they give me trouble? I don't know. Maybe I don't have them down all the way. There we go. So make sure those are pulled down all the way. Then you can separate here. Then, as you can see with this section, you're going to push this black section all the way forward. And then you can come down with the arms. And his hands are actually going to be these little red ones, which I always have trouble getting out. So I just use this gun. And let me get this one out real quick here. There we go. All right, so there's the hands, and pull out the head, pull that back. Pull that up, and there you have Punch, uh, Autobot mode. Now, there are no Autobot Decepticon stickers on this guy, so this little rub symbol, I seriously doubt that I'll get it to show up, but uh, you can just trust me, it's an Autobot symbol, I'm not going to spend you know, an hour sitting there rubbing it. And he did come with two weapons. Now, unfortunately, uh, I think I've either lost it or misplaced it or something like that. I just haven't been able to find it. Uh, but he comes with this black, long, very long, actually, Decepticon gun. And then he also comes with a yellow double barrel blaster, uh, which is a little bit shorter. Uh, not, not too much shorter, but I think it comes like right to here for whenever he's in his Autobot mode. So that's the gun that you would actually put it in there, but since I don't have it, you know, I'll just put that one in there and you get the idea. But his hands are very short. So uh, I actually, whenever I do find the other gun, I'm going to display them with both just because uh, it's kind of like I do with Astro Train. I want to buy him an extra gun just because he's got the really short hand syndrome and it looks a little bit silly. But this is actually his worst mode. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take this out and I can give you guys a little 360. I mean, it... The, the 360 is pretty much he turns into punch so, or counter punch. So push those hands in and you're going to come around this way. Pull this open again. Push 
that little tab right there open and you can close this and if you rub this symbol it will actually be a Decepticon logo so uh, that's really cool you'll flip this little helmet thing back just like so these come up just like that and you can pull down this area for the hands and I'm going to show you the way that you know, you're supposed to do it and then I'm going to show you the way that I do it because I just think it looks a little bit cooler and pull down these feet and there you have counter punch which his hands arms are like way back there now I think that's the way that you're actually supposed to do it and that obviously looks really stupid uh, so what I do is I pull these up like this and then I kind of bend them up at like a little bit of an angle and I think that looks a lot better gives them a little bit more you know, shoulder pads beef he still has very short arm syndrome and you know these are articulated uh, shoulders were the same whenever he was in punch mode but if you give him these this long gun and you know have the other long gun on there then he looks quite nice so I really do dig this figure I'll show you a couple of size comparisons whenever he's in his robot mode here is pounce and wingspan and then a little bit more, you know, current, up-to-date guy. Uh, there is Transformers Prime Viacom, which I assume that most of you guys have. Uh, I don't even collect Prime figures. I think I've sold almost all of them. And I hung on to this guy and, like, two others because he's really that great of a figure. But we'll go ahead and move these guys back out of the way. And we'll transform them back. Uh, one suggestion I will make, uh, if you try finding this guy online you want to buy him online you will maybe find the figure himself for a pretty decent price or or maybe with you know one gun or something like that you definitely want to buy him you know with all 100 percent complete uh just because each one of these guns is probably going to run somewhere around 30 to 40 dollars they're that expensive so uh I, some people you don't care about guns then hey definitely pick up the figure because he's absolutely awesome uh, i did put repro labels on them which i think were only about five or six bucks so you have these nice ones here at the front nothing back there uh you have these shorter ones right here you also have uh if i can get to them uh, these it's the same on that side then you had uh, these here on the legs, those on the shin, and those at the toes. And I forgot to mention, whenever he's in his count or uh, punch mode, it's Autobot mode, uh, he has the feet kind of the same as uh, Headstrong of the Predacons, which it's, it's, it's the crappiest part of the figure, to be honest. Uh, so I always leave him in his counter punch mode, and uh, that's what he mostly... Uh, hat, or turns into in the show just because uh, he's a Decepticon spy uh, so he's always turned into a Decepticon so let's go ahead and transform him sorry for the rambling I do dig this figure I absolutely love him we'll open this up we'll flip this flip that head down close that up and flip these back around turn the feet in close the feet together sling that around and push it together and there you go. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I'll just try to start doing more G1 stuff. And after this review, I'll probably do the Creo combined or Predaking or Superion. So if you haven't, let me know. Only really one person has. Uh, let me know which one you'd rather see, and that's the one that I'll do first. So talk to you later, guys. Bye.